Our next guest, he went from a viral social media sensation to a major label country artist. In the last year, he's had a number one album on the Billboard 200. He's won three American Music Awards, and he has sold out arenas on tour. Please welcome the one and only Kane Brown. <laughs> Oh, have a seat, have a seat. Now, you were on GMA earlier. It's so amazing. Oh, we said, oh, can you stick around? So thank you for sticking around for us. We really appreciate it. And you know what? You're amazing. Your story's amazing. Thank you. You are the first country artist in 24 years to be number one on the Billboard Top 200. <laughs> I mean, amazing. <laughs> have that sucking. And, and it, all, it all started, though, amazingly so, it all started like this. So take a look at how it all started for Kane. Uh -oh. Take my money. Take my wallet, take my credit cards. Hey, I'm here. You talk about take my money, my wallet, my credit cards. You were in love. I'm telling you that. That's love right there. Yeah. <laughs> but has it sunken into how amazing it really is to go from that to where you are now? Uh, yeah, it, it's a, it was a huge step, and everything was kind of rushed. Mm -hmm. um, but it's, I, I still feel like the, the same dude that was you know, working at FedEx a couple years ago, so. Yeah. Well, you definitely, and, and just, just to give you a sense of how cr incredible it is, how many sing in the shower? Who sings in the shower? <laughs> yeah! How many are number one on the Billboard 200? <laughs> oh, you are not number one, need nobody. <laughs> but it's incredible feat. No, I, I occasionally sing, you sing in the shower. Yeah. So we have a question for you. I mean, I don't want to put you on the spot, but I know you're going on tour, headlighting, and mm -hmm. we thought, Possibly we could be an opening act for we recorded a little something we want to show you. Sail away with me to another world. We rely on each other. Uh -huh. From one love to another. Uh -huh. Michael, uh, missed a note uh, just we, like the, real quick, pitch, it wasn't our best our pitch performance. Our on point though. Yeah. But, yeah like, yeah. What do you think, you... back up? Come on, we actually are looking for somebody. <laughs> yeah. We made it to the big time, Michael. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't think they're gonna let us off from this show, to be honest with you, man. We have to decline. Yeah, they, they won't oh, let man. us off the show, otherwise we totally would. But, but you, started, you started posting these videos, the video we saw early, you started posting those things on Facebook. Yeah. But you were working at FedEx at the time. You were also working at Target. Mm -hmm. So what do you think you'd be doing now if you didn't take off the way that you did? Working at FedEx. <laughs> <laughs> Did you enjoy the job? Yeah, it was like my favorite job. It was like my first big boy job. So I was making like eleven ninety an hour, and then I was working my way to be a truck driver, and it was gonna go up to like seventeen. So I was like, yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Now you are, as I mentioned, you're on your first headlining tour, uh, live forever, t live forever, sorry, yeah. oh, you're good. and it's live, um, <laughs> live forever tour. You started it. And the first one was in Georgia. Yeah. Atlanta. How'd that go? Uh, it was amazing. Because um, I've been touring for two, two, I don't even, two, three years now. Mm -hmm. um, and when I first started out with Florida Georgia Line. That was like my first oh. show to actually ever do. Uh, so we didn't really, I didn't know what was going on. I was basically just up there walking around scared. Um, but <laughs> yeah, this time though, it was like, it was my show. Everybody came to see me. Um, it was my, you know, first. My, this is my first arena tour, so we have all new production. It was just so much energy, and uh, it was just—it was a dream come true. Your you fan brought, base, yeah, like yeah. your fan base there yeah. to see you. But you also like brought your grandma on stage. Oh and yeah. She cried. Yeah, and then we had uh, my mom came to two shows after, so I got to bring her up on stage. That's too. your grandma? Yeah, that's my nana. She's really young. Oh, you know my nana. That makes me go, oh, <laughs> <laughs> so sweet, so, so sweet, Kate. <laughs> oh, good dude, man. Wow. And you know what? You, you like me, we both, I'm a car and truck guy. I love my cars, my trucks. That's, that probably is my, uh, my guilty pleasure. Yeah. I, you're, you're a truck guy, too. Yeah. We saw a picture of your truck. You posted it. And That's a big boy. That right there. Yeah. How do you even get into that? Uh, do you have, like, a bunk bed ladder or something? It lowers down. Oh, okay. So, so it's, it's on like a, it's on air ride lift. So it's on a 19 inch lift. The door handles are over my head when it's all the way up. 
um, but it lowers down to eight inches. So then the door, once you open the door, the steps come out so my wife can climb in. Okay, okay. Well, see, I thought you, generous. No, I thought you were going to say you come down, you open the door, you go back and run and jump. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, with a big truck, we just thought we wanted to give a little gift to you, just a little something, something for you to always remember us. So why don't you bring that out? We yeah. thought. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. A lot of real estate in there, so. Yeah. It's nice. It may be a little small, but we just all we could find, man. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but I'll you know what? You. It, also, <laughs> you you have been. Um, Unusual look for a country music artist. Oh, yeah. Because most people I heard, they don't think you're a country music artist. When they say, well, what do you do? What do you usually tell them? I'm a rapper. They think you're a rapper. Yeah. And, and Can because. You rap? No. <laughs> <laughs> no. He's been so impressive thus far. I thought maybe there's a second skeleton. No. But you said at first, though, when you first tried to get into country music, was it tough because of your look? Uh, I think it was tough because of that. And I also think it was tough because I, I did it in a. Um, uh, non-traditional way like mm -hmm. nobody's really done it over social media so a lot of people in Nashville um, I heard that they thought like my numbers were fake like we were buying followers and mm -hmm. stuff like that so we just had to kind of prove to everybody that this was organic and uh, everybody's figured it out and everybody's kind of jumped on board with us what music inspires you what did you listen to growing up uh, I grew up on 90s country Tim McGraw was the first uh, artist I ever listened to yeah. uh, Shania Twain Sugar Lamb I grew up with all females, if you haven't noticed yet. Yeah. Um, I like that. <laughs> so, don't forget about Nana and Mom. <laughs> well, that's what I'm saying, all females, yeah. Nana and my mom. Um, yeah, and then I moved schools, and uh, I kind of got out of the country, and then we just started listening to all kinds of genres. And then once I got uh, older into high school, Florida Georgia Line was really popular. Oh, they're yeah. so popular. So I got back in with them, um, and Cruz was out, and I just fell back in love with uh, the new age country music. Well, I'll tell you what, though, for those who may have Thought maybe the numbers were fake that are on board now. They're on board for a reason because you're really outstanding, man. Oh, and we're, we're fortunate. We're lucky you stuck around. Thank you for sticking around and talking to us. Number one on the Billboard 200. That's right, the man Kane Brown. And you can listen to Kane's album, Experiment, which is out right now. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.